Hey guys, Mike here at MS Tutorials. Welcome back. Well guys, today we're going to do a um, tutorial for Dylan, the winner of our modeling challenge. Okay, and the question that I got from Dylan is, can you model a 50s, 1950s style uh, CRT TV? Okay, so the TVs with the tubes in it, you know, with the big backs and so forth. You know, wooden texture and, and that kind of thing. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to try to fit this into one tutorial. So I'm going to do my very best. And uh, let's see what we can come up with. Now, the thing is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this without any reference at all. And I'll explain why I do that. Okay. I want to train myself and I encourage you to do the same to visualize the object in your mind without having an actual reference. This will train you to get the scale right, to memorize details when you look at the object and so forth. And if that doesn't work out, that's fine. Just go back in and tweak it and get it right. But I found, you know, at least for me personally, that that's uh, kind of fun to do and it, it helps. OK. All right. That said, let's get started. We're going to start off with a polygon cube and we're going to drag that out in the grid. And we're going to shape this roughly in what we think would be a suitable size for a TV set. Right. Now, keep in mind that TVs back then, they had this big black thing sticking out at the end. So we're going to hit R and we're going to bring that in just a little because we're going to need to do with that. OK. And then what we're going to do is we're going to right click at a face. There we go. And we're going to go to Edit Mesh, Extrude Under Face, and we're going to hit R, and we're just going to slightly scale that in, not too much. That will be about right, okay? And then we're going to hit G to repeat, and W to push in to about, well, maybe not that far, to about there, okay? And then we're going to hit Delete, and we're going to get rid of that, okay? Then we're going to go to the back and then you're going to do something similar. Select it, edit mesh, extrude under face, hit R, and we're going to scale it in just a little bit more. Let's do something like this. And then we're going to hit G to repeat. We're going to hit W to push in. And we'll push into about there. And again, hit delete. All right. So that's our starting point. Now, there are a couple of things that we're going to bring in here. We are going to set our screen at the left end, and we're going to have our control panel at the right. So we're going to focus on our control panel first. All right. And for that, what we'll do is we'll uh, take another polygon cube, and we're going to drag that out and pull that up. And I'm setting it up this way on purpose, because as we texture this, uh, it's easier to do that when we have separate objects. Okay, so I'm just going to go to my top view. I'm going to hit four for wireframe mode. And I want that to align with that edge right there. And we'll bring that out. And just going to check that. Okay, and obviously we need to do with the height. So let's do that next. Right click vertex, take these two vertices up top, hit F to zoom in, and we're going to bring that up right there, just a bit further. Hang on, my keyboard's going nuts. Okay, so that's fine, and we want to look to see whether the panel is too wide or not wide enough and so forth. Now this would be a bit wide for a panel so we're going to right click go to vertex and we're going to take these two and we'll hit four so you can see what's going on. And let's just bring that in a bit. Hit five for shaded mode so I can kind of check it and we'll do maybe a, maybe a bit more let's say something like this. Okay. And as you can see, it's uh, it's pointing back a little bit here, so that's okay. And the back, we'll deal with that later. And next, what we're going to do is we're going to set up some, uh, what I like to call trim, in the sense that um, they usually had this wooden texture going on with some chrome uh, trim on it. So that's what we're going to do next, okay? 
So we're going to take a polygon cube once again, drag that out nice and thin, give it some height. Have to zoom in. Let's hit R and scale that in a bit and maybe pull it out just like that. Okay. All right. We're going to hit W. We're going to pull that up. And let's focus on the top of our screen here. Let's pull that up some more. Pretty much in the middle there. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over here, right click vertex, take the ends, hit four for wireframe mode, and we're going to pull it to about halfway. Okay. And we can tweak that if we need, but we'll bring that one in as well. Zoom in. Okay, so we got this diagonal line, and we want that line to kind of cross this guy in the middle. Okay, so that way you have a reference when we're modeling this that we can kind of see if we're level. Okay, that's one way to do it. The other way would be to take this object, right click object mode. And we'd go to set our translate values to zero. Okay. And I, sorry, I got the wrong object apparently. Let's try that again. Let's see. Okay. So I set that to zero. So that is now automatically centered. So if I take this. And I do the same, it's centered as well, okay? So then I would be able to pull that up. Now it's centered based on the location of the pivot. So if our pivot isn't in the middle, it's not gonna center in the middle, okay? So I'm gonna modify center pivot, where do you go? Right there. As you can see, it moved over just a bit. And let's just tweak that a little. Okay, so that's how you would go about doing that. We need to reposition that guy, but we'll do that in a sec. That's fine. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop Tool, Option Box, Multiple, I'm going to select two. And we'll add them like so. And then we're going to hit R. And we're going to start to pull them out. Pull them out to the extent that if we now look over here, we should have something very close to a square in this area right here. Okay, so it looks like we need to bring it back just a little. Come on. All right, that's fine. Okay, so we got that. And this guy we'll deal with in a second. Right-click object mode. Let's hit W and move that forward. Okay, get that into position. That looks okay. We'll look at it from our top view. I have to zoom in. There we go. And now we can move in and zoom in. And we're gonna right click at a face and we're gonna select that face. And the one over here, that one. And I'm gonna go to edit mesh and extrude. We're gonna W, we're gonna pull that down. And as you can see, we just need to move the sky a little bit in a sec. That will be fine. But for now, we're going to bring that down. And that's all right. And then we're going to right click object mode. And we're going to bring that out. Now, again, a reference here is this diagonal line should pretty much go through this square here. Okay. So we're going to 
bring that out. Okay. All right. I can live with that. All right. Then we're going to go to Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop Tool, Option Box, Single. Now we're going to move in here. And let's do one there. Hit Q on our keyboard. Let's just zoom in here. Right click face like that. Edit mesh, extrude. Hang on, extrude under face. There we go. And we're going to bring that out. And let's bring it in here. Okay. Let's just check and see what we got. Right click object mode. We got our little detail there. We're going to take this guy and we're going to bring it back to where we wanted it to be, which will be there. Oops there and then bring it over and bring it down and let's see what we got all right okay so we got that <clears throat> now we're gonna um divide this into two sections okay so we're going to take another polygon cube and we're going to move that in and we're going to check it from this view we're going to do that pretty much halfway after zoom in and we're going to level it from this end and maybe even bring it back a little I'll just hit five for shaded mode so I can see what's going on. Okay. We're going to right click at our vertex. We're going to take these two, bring that in, hit four, all right. And then we're going to right click, go to object mode, push that in, have to zoom in. Okay. <clears throat> so we got that. Cool. All right. Next, uh, we are going to um, create um, the uh, the loudspeaker, if you will. And typically, that is constructed out of little ribs. So we'll create another cube. We're going to pull that up. And what we're going to do there is hit F to zoom in. We're going to right click go to vertex take that corner one and that corner one pull them out to something like so right click object mode hit r to push that in <clears throat> that's about right okay and we'll do something like that we're gonna hit w we're gonna push that in until we are going to have to zoom in close to where we need to be. F once again. Let's bring that in and bring that down. And from this view, we're going to make sure that that is level from the left and the right with this guy. Right click vertex, take these two. Bring that into about there and then right click object mode and bring that down and we'll start around there. Then we're going to hit control D to duplicate. Let's bring that down and let's hit shift D to duplicate that all the way down and check it from this view here. All right, and we'll just drag click the whole thing, 
Control G to group, W to pull up. So we can see what's going on. Okay. So we got that. Now we're going to create the knobs for the TV. Okay. So for that, again, polygon cube. Pull that up. Something like so. Bring it towards where we need to be. And then we'll check it from our front view to see what area we have available. And let's bring that up here to about there. Right click vertex, take these two. And let's um, right click the object mode. What we'll do is we'll bring that down. And we'll kind of focus on how far that is coming out. So this is kind of level at this end. And then we're going to right click the vertex. We'll take these two and we'll do the same right there. And we want two of these, so we'll push that down. Right click object mode, control D and pull one up. And then we're just going to check in our perspective view to see what we have so far. As you can see, they're a bit thick. Position wise, they're fine, but we need to tweak them. So we're going to pull that out to avoid overlapping um, overlapping uh, mesh. And we need to pull that out a bit more. There we go. Then we're going to right click vertex. We're going to drag select these. And we're going to push that in to Actually, I wanted both, so we'll do uh, right-click object mode, one, two, mesh, combine, and now I can go back to right-click vertex, drag select, hit W, push in, and from this view, just check to see how far we need to push that in. That would be pretty close okay <clears throat> now for the television knobs okay okay so what we're gonna do there is we're gonna take a polygon cylinder uh, right there and we're gonna pull that up we're gonna go into our attribute editor let's increase that to 40 subdivisions and zero caps okay then from this view, we're going to right click and vertex, drag select the top vertices and hit R to scale in until we get this effect. Hit W, push that down somewhat. All right. And then we're going to go to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop Tool. Uh, sorry, Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop Tool, Option Box multiple and we'll do two oh, not there that never wants to work okay but makes sense i should have done that before but we'll fix it another way what we'll do is we'll take a polygon cube we'll bring that up bring that in go to our top view hit f to zoom in Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to move that up. I'm going to hit plus on my keyboard to extend my uh, arrows, if you will, which will allow me to take this guy. Come on, right click object mode. And I can now make sure that it's aligned there. And by pulling it down, aligned there. So I know that's now okay. All right. Height wise, hit four for wireframe mode and hit minus to pull my arrows back in. I'm going to bring that up to about there. And then I'm going to move in. Maybe make that a little flatter. So right click vertex, take the top, bring it down to about there. And while I have these selected, I'm going to hit R. 
I'm kind of going to scale that in like that. All right. And then what we're going to do is right click face and I'm going to select every other face here. Okay, edit mesh, extrude under face. I'm gonna pull on the thickness. Let's do 0 0.2. Okay, not bad. All right, and then select the bottom and go to edit mesh, extrude. Hit R to pull in. G to repeat and W to pull down. Okay. And then we're going to select the whole thing. Right click object mode, select it and go to mesh combine, modify center pivot. And I'll select all of this stuff and go to edit delete by type history and modify freeze transformations. Okay. Let's position this guy. We're going to hit E to rotate, and we're going to rotate to 90 degrees, obviously. We're going to switch to our front view. Let's hit um, W to move it, pull that up, and hit R to scale it down. And what I'm going for here is I want one knob here and two smaller ones there. So we're going to hit W, we're going to move that in. Okay, we're going to move that up. And we're going to hit R to scale it down. So move that up a little. And we're going to check to see, hit F to zoom in, how far we need to bring that in. Again, F to zoom in. All right, and just to make it somewhat more realistic, we're going to hit E and we're going to rotate it just slightly. So it looks like somebody has been turning that knob. And then we're going to hit Control D to duplicate, W to move down. Hit F to zoom in. Pull that up just slightly. We're going to hit R to scale it in. Control D to duplicate, W to move over until we have these two. And then we're going to bring them in here. Take one of them, hit E, rotate that to, let's say there. And this one, we don't want that to be in the same angle, okay? All right, so we got all that. We got that part. Now for our screen, okay? Uh, we're gonna start with a polygon cube. And we're gonna pull that up and we're gonna fit that in our opening. Okay, so we're gonna hit W, we're gonna move it over and we're gonna start to align it with our top left corner up here, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click the vertex drag select these bottom vertices and bring that up there and then take these two and bring that into there okay let's see what we got right click object mode move that in f to zoom in okay it looks like we were not on the right line and with me i mean with we i mean me okay and that happens, so let's get that into position as close as we can. So right click vertex, take these two, bring that in there and take these two. And I think we're closer now. Yeah, that's better. Okay.
Okay, as soon as I'm very close to where I need to be, it's a bit easier because now I know exactly where we need to be. And we can kind of clean that up. Okay. Hang on. Sorry about that, guys. I have a bit of a cough going on here. So right click vertex, hit four for wireframe mode. That should be okay. So now we're going to go to the back and we're going to right click at a face and we're going to select that face and we're going to delete it. All right. Then we're going to go to this guy. We're going to select it. We're going to go to edit mesh, extrude. We're going to hit R and we're going to start to bring that in to what would roughly be the size of the screen that we're working with. Okay. Now, the screens weren't square back then. This looks a little bit too much like a microwave, all right? So we're gonna go into um, Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop Tool, Option Box, and we're gonna add five subdivisions, okay? And we're gonna do that right there. Let's close that out, and right there. And hit Q on your keyboard, okay? We're gonna switch to this view we're going to right click, we're going to go to vertex, and we're going to select all of these. We're going to hit R, and we're going to push that up just slightly. And then we're going to skip one at both ends, and do that once again. And again, do that very carefully, and don't go overboard with that. Okay. Let's see what we got. Pretty much what we got right here. And then we're going to do the same from this end. So we're going to just pull it out just slightly. Skip one of both ends. It's a bit tricky to control that, but. So that should be pretty close. Okay. Then we're gonna right click on a face and we're gonna select these faces. All right. And we're gonna delete that. Okay. Next step, we're going to go in and we're going to right click at a vertex and we're going to drag select all these inner vertices. Okay. And then we're going to hit W and we're going to push that in. Something like this. Okay. All right. Now for the tube or the, uh, yeah, the, the screen, the tube. Okay. So that is a little bit tricky. Uh, for that, what we'll do is we'll take a, um, a, let me think, let me think. Yeah, we'll take a polygon cube and what we'll do is we'll roughly model that towards that space that we need here. So we need to make sure that it's at the very least, it's the same dimension or slightly bigger so that would be about it, okay? And then in our polycube tab, we're gonna increase subdivision to, let's do seven, well not seven, let's do five by five, we'll do that, okay? And first we're gonna position it roughly in that area, and then we're gonna right click at a vertex, and we're gonna hit W, and what we're going to do is we're going to push that down, at least if it wants to respond. Why is that not responding? Come on, right click vertex, object mode, right click vertex, one, two, three, four. Let's hit R. 
and we're kind of going to follow that line, but not all the way. And then we'll take these. Actually, we'll do it this way. We'll take these. We'll push that down. We'll take this one and this one. We'll push it down. And what we're pretty much doing is just following the line that we created, okay? And it's going to be uh, coming in. So let's let's try something like this, okay? And like I said, don't worry about the shape for now because we are going to tweak that, okay? So what we're going to do next is we're going to take all of, oops, where's my screen at here? We're going to take these and then we're going to hit B on our keyboard. And while you hold down B and your left mouse button, you're going to pull out so you have the entire thing in your range. And then you're going to hit W and you're going to pull that out. And as you do that, you can see that it's starting to round out. Okay, but what we're going to do is we're going to push that back just a little, and then we're just going to take the ones in the middle, these four here, and we're going to pull that out some more, like so. And then we're going to right click object mode, hit B to turn off your soft select, and with that selected, hit 3, which will give you this shape, and that's what I was going for. Okay, so we're going to push that back in to a point where it is moved in towards our frame and hopefully closing all the gaps. Not quite, as you can see. Uh, so we'll just have to fix that just a little. Hit 4 for wireframe mode, go back to this view, right-click vertex on this, come on. There we go. We're going to take all of these and we're going to hit five and we're going to pull that out. Okay, there's another way I'm going to fix this because this is kind of the effect that I want to hold on to. So in order to have a clean look there, I'm going to right click the object mode, just like this guy. Go to Edit Mesh and Extrude under Face. And what we'll do is, let's see, that's not what we're going to do. And that's not what we're going to do either. We're going to hit R and we're going to push it out. That's not what I want either. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Let me think. Okay. So what we'll do is hit W, pull it out. And we're going to go in and right-click face. All right, and I got that. Let's see what I get when I take that. No, that's fine. We're not going to have that one. Edit mesh. Extrude. And we'll try that and see if that's enough. Right click object mode. Hit W and move that in. Pretty close. Almost there. Almost there. All right. So right click vertex. Take these. Okay. And it's mainly the ones on top here. So these here. And 
these down here. All right, so let's pull that out just a little bit. Hit five. All right, and we're there. Sorry, that took a while, guys. Okay, so we got that. Now the back here, okay? What we're gonna do there is we're gonna create a polygon cube and we're gonna move that up. And we're gonna bring that in. I have to zoom in. Let's move that up. And let's see if we can get that. Okay, so that's our corner right there. We're going to right click with a vertex. Not on that guy. Vertex. We're going to take these two. Let's bring that down there and I'm going to take these two and that would be I think there it's kind of hard to see from this end but we'll check it from the back all right cool so we got that then what we're going to do is we're going to take these vertices these four And we're going to pull that out. And then we're going to hit R to scale that in. And as you can see, we're scaling a little bit too early. So we're going to hit Control Z, hit W, push that back a little to about there. Right click Face, Edit Mesh, Extrude under Face. Hit W to pull out and R to scale in. All right. And then G to repeat, R to scale in. And then G to repeat, W to pull out. And R to scale in, just slightly. All right. So that's the back part of our TV. That's what we got so far. Now we're going to create a little antenna. So let's um, take a polygon sphere, pull that out, and we'll do 30 by 30 subdivisions. And we're going to cut this guy in half. So we're going to right click, go to face, drag, select the bottom here, and hit delete. Then we're going to right click on object mode. We're going to hit W and we're going to move that in and up. Check from our top view. Okay, now that would be somewhat in the middle, most likely. Hit R to scale that down a bit. F to zoom in. And W to move over. Okay. Just uh, check on our height here. And there we go. I have to zoom in. Let's see what we've got. Okay, we're going to push that to the back a little bit because that's where it belongs. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit 3 to smooth this guy out. Okay, not too bad. Then we're going to quickly create an antenna for that. And maybe just, let's just hit R and push that down so it's not too uh, round. That's about right. Then we're going to take a polygon cylinder and we're going to bring that out and that's going to be our antenna. So we're going to hit R and we're going to scale that in. Hit W to move that in and up. And from our top view we're going to want to have that somewhere around here. So we have to zoom in, pull that down, and we'll do that on the one, two, three, fourth 
edge line, control D to duplicate, one, two, three, four, edge line, there we go, check it from our top view, and we're going to select them both, we're going to pull them in, and then we're going to right click and go to vertex, actually before we do that, right click object mode, Mesh Combine, right click Vertex, drag select those, and we're going to hit R and we're going to pull them out. Actually, that's not going to work. Sorry about that. Um, reason being that it's flaring out, which is not good. So, Mesh Separate, get rid of that one, take this one, hit E. Modify center pivot. Let's do that at minus 45. That's a bit much. Let's do minus 30. Much better. Let's hit R and scale that in. W to pull that down to about there. And then we're going to right click vertex. Let's drag that out to, that's about right. And then we're going to right click object mode, select it. We're going to hit control D to duplicate. We're going to move it up here and we're going to hit R and we're going to scale it in to make it thinner. Okay. And then we're going to hit W and we're going to move that up and in like so. That looks about right. And let's see, we'll do for detail a very little sphere. And I'll pull this up. And move that in. I have to zoom in. R to squash a little, E to rotate, W to pull down, have to zoom in, okay, and then we'll take this, right click vertex, we're going to hit E and we're going to rotate them, and hit W and pull that up. Now let's see what we got. Looks like this guy needs to shrink a little. Okay. So let's move it in. So it's sitting on top of our antenna. After have to zoom in. All right. Then we're going to take this, this, and this, and go to Mesh and Combine, Modify, Center Pivot. Now that's at an angle of 30 degrees, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to this view, Control D to duplicate, move it over, hit E, and we're going to rotate that to 60 degrees. That looks a bit off. Let's see. Hmm. Interesting. Something's off there, but we'll uh, sort it out. Uh, they don't necessarily have to be identical because you can uh, move both antennas on these TVs, but that should be about it. Okay, so I'm just going to check that from this view here, and that is pretty close to what is our TV. Okay, so let's see how we're doing on time here. Let's just uh, check that out. Okay. 
So I'm going to quickly pause the video and then we're going to continue texturing it. Okay. Okay. So um, not quite finished yet. I want to add some detail. So what we're going to do is we're going to create some air vents here. And I'm going to use the tricky option, which is the Boolean, just because it's, uh, it's quick. Hopefully it works. Because as you probably all know, Boolean is not always as great as you think. So we're going to hit R. We're going to scale that back. And hopefully we can approach it from right view. Here we are. F to zoom in, 5 for shaded mode, and we're going to hit W and we're going to pull that up. Let's do, let's say about here, and we're going to hit R to scale it back a little bit, like so. We're going to hit Control D to duplicate, W to pull down to about there, and then Shift to D all the way down to just above this lower end here. Then we're going to check it from our top view. Hit F to zoom in. Uh, these guys, as you can see, they're sticking all the way through. And it doesn't matter if it's this or this, as long as they're sticking out both ends. Looks about right. And then we're going to select this guy. Actually, we should have combined these first. Mesh, combine, select this, shift select that, and go to Mesh, Boolean, and Difference. There we go. And that's our air vent area. Okay. And that is pretty close to where we need to be. So let's start to add some material. We're going to select this, and we're going to make this plastic. So we're going to right click, assign new material. And just to clean it up a little bit before we do that, we're going to right click edge and we're going to take these edges and these edges and hit control delete. So we don't get any end gones. Okay. Right click object mode, assign new material. Let's do a blend. And let's make that pretty close to black, but not all the way. And we don't want that to be very reflective. So let's do 0 0.3 to start with. Okay. Then we're going to go in here and this will be beige okay assign new material we don't want that to be reflective at all so we're going to select a Lambert and hit our color here uh, let's see that's kind of red kind of a 50s color maybe something like so maybe a bit reddish but that's fine <clears throat> Excuse me. Then we're going to take these guys. Okay. Assign the material. Let's do a, uh, let me think, we'll do another blend. And those will make black. And we'll make them a little bit reflective. So we'll leave that at 0 0.5. Okay. Now for these two plates here, we're going to do a metal surface. And actually, let's do this as well. Let's see. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So we're going to right-click Assign New Material. We'll do MIA Material X. Material tab presets, setting the metal and replace. Okay. This trim up here, we're going to do Chrome. Right click assign new material, MIA, 
presets chrome replace and for these buttons we're going to do a combination okay so for that we're going to do is we're going to right click object mode and we'll do all three at once assign new material <coughs> excuse me we'll do blend and we'll do black and then we're going to go back in right click face select that face and what I'll do to make it easier is I'll just combine these objects okay so I'll mesh combine all right so we're going to go in right click face one two three assign new material MIA material X material tab presets chrome replace we'll do just the top face of these knobs assign existing material and we'll do the last MIA material and then what I'll do is I'll just select the faces that are sticking out assign existing material and again number three and I'll quickly pause the video and do the rest all right so they're done so we got that all done all right we're gonna go to our glass here assign the material MIA presets glass solid replace and then for our color this is somewhat blue as you can see and we're just gonna pull that up just a little and I'm gonna push that more to a bit darker and we'll see how dark we need to make that and in fact um, let's not do an MIA material let's select that object assign new material we'll do a blend so if Dylan decides that he wants to have this look a little bit different then that's possible and then what we'll do is we'll increase transparency just a little not so we can see completely through and we'll increase reflectivity a little bit so where's he at where do you go where do you go all right here we'll do 0 0.7 and the only way to find out what that looks like exactly is by just trying it. We're going to take our antenna here, assign new material. Let's do MIA material X, material presets, satined metal, and replace. Okay. And then let's deal with the casing okay and let's make that uh, I don't know let's make that mint green okay so right click assign new material we'll do a um, another blend okay select that take this green and move it towards our blue here to kind of get that 50s color on it so that's pretty close okay all right so we're going to create a ground plane here and we're going to set up for rendering so let's uh, stretch that out quite a bit right click face right click assign new material and we'll do a uh, Fong E and we're going to make that white and kind of the challenge that I got was one hand I wanted to model this for um, Dylan but at the same time I wanted to um, 
do it in a tutorial and when you want to UV it and texture it and all that stuff you're gonna have a maybe two hour video and this is already quite long so okay so we got that we're gonna create lights point light pull that up hit seven on your keyboard to create that light and I'll hit control D to duplicate it pull one over here and up here and maybe a bit over here and let's reduce the intensity to 0 0.6 maybe a bit less 0 0.4 I'm gonna create an ambient light that's very bright as you can see we're gonna push that way back and up and intensity to 0 0.1 okay then we're going to go to our render settings mental ray because i use several mental ray materials i'm going to bump up the quality quite a bit to 1.5 common tab set the image size to hd 1080 that was all set up i'm going to set up global illumination that's all good i'm going to create image based lighting and I'll just select a file for that. Where'd he go? Maya. HDRI. Studio 6. There we go. We're going to set up a resolution gate. And let's do... We're not really going to see our air vents, looks like, but that's okay. Yeah, we'll do this. All right. Okay, I'm going to pause the video, do a test render, and see you guys in a sec. Well, guys, there you have it. There's our 1950s styled uh, retro TV set. So. Uh, Dylan, hopefully uh, this is what you were looking for and hopefully uh, that's going to help you out with your scene and uh, for all other viewers, uh, hopefully it's uh, useful for you to uh, learn some uh, tips and tricks. That said, uh, thanks again for watching and love to see you guys again. Thanks. Bye.